the truth about Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh's feud. While the film's early critical reception has been mostly positive and it received a five-minute standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival, fans can't help but be concerned about Don't Worry Darling. For months, the psychological thriller has been dogged by rumors that the film's lead actor, Oscar nominee Florence Pugh, and director Olivia Wilde were feuding behind the scenes. While we cannot confirm that this is ongoing, we can provide some insight into where these allegations are coming from. Florence Pugh expressed her excitement on Instagram in April 2020 about being cast as a 1950s-era housewife moving into an experimental utopian community alongside Shia LaBeouf as her husband in her idol Olivia Wilde's directorial follow-up to Booksmart. However, the former Transformers franchise star left the Don't Worry Darling cast five months later, citing scheduling conflicts as the reason, and was replaced by pop singer and Dunkirk star Harry Styles. Nothing more was said about the casting change, but Variety reported the following December that LaBeouf's ex-girlfriend, FKA Twigs, had sued him for sexual battery and made abuse allegations against him. On the set of Don't Worry Darling, Olivia Wilde's relationship with Harry Styles reportedly grew into something more than strictly professional, as a Page Six exclusive from early 2021 showed the celebrities holding hands at a wedding. This news comes just months after the filmmaker's previous private divorce from longtime partner and former SNL star Jason Sudeikis was made public in November 2020. A later Page Six report from 2022 suggested that Florence Pugh's alleged beef with Wilde was sparked by this workplace romance, but the first inkling of these rumors emerged just a month after Wilde and Shy's PDA made headlines. When principal photography on Don't Worry Darling concluded on February 2021, Florence Pugh celebrated with an Instagram post that included photos of several crew members, but none of Olivia Wilde, whose name was also not mentioned in her lengthy caption. This would go on to be one of the few times the actor publicly discussed the film despite actively promoting other projects online at the same time. But it wouldn't stop Wilde from praising her lead star's performance on Instagram the following year. However, Pew appeared to pay no attention to her director's post, not even liking it, fueling speculation that she was deliberately distancing herself from the film and, moreover, Wilde herself. While silence was enough to fuel speculation about Florence Pugh's relationship with Olivia Wilde, one of the actor's first and only public comments about Don't Worry Darling also sparked discussion. In mid-August 2022, the Black Widow cast member expressed her displeasure with the film's overtly sexual trailer to Harper's Bazaar, saying, when it's reduced to your sex scenes or to watch the most famous man in the world go down on someone, it's not why we do it. It's not why I'm in this industry. While Pew believes that discussing Don't Worry Darling's sexual content is unnecessary, her comments run counter to the film's director's viewpoint. Olivia Wilde had previously discussed the importance of sex scenes in the film in an interview with Vogue earlier that year in January and would expand on this discussion in the first paragraph of a Variety interview in August. These remarks could easily have been misinterpreted as combative, but there were more details in what Variety story that would soon turn heads. Also, Olivia Wilde denied a feud with Florence Pugh, wage disparities between celebrities, and firing Shia LaBeouf in August 2022. Said Olivia Wilde's interview with Variety was also one of the first times she addressed rumors of her feud with Florence Pugh, which she dismissed as mere gossip, and added, tabloid media is a tool to pit women against one another and to shame them. She also denied rumors that Harry Styles was paid more for Don't Worry Darling than Pugh, whom Wilde described in an interview as extraordinary and clearly the most exciting young actress working today. The article also revealed that the director fired Shia LaBeouf, with Wilde explaining that it was done to ensure a safe environment for Pew. In particular, well in response, Shia LaBeouf denied being fired and leaked video of Olivia Wilde seemed to corroborate this story. Meanwhile, Olivia Wilde appeared in front of the press with the Don't Worry Darling cast for an interview at the Venice Film Festival on Monday, September 5, 2022. But the film's lead, Florence Pugh, was not among them, prompting further speculation about their alleged feud. However, as Wilde pointed out during the panel discussion, the actor has been filming Dune, part two in Budapest, but was able to fly out to Venice in time for the festival's red carpet premiere of Don't Worry Darling. 
During the Venice Film Festival panel, one member of the press used the absence of the film's main star to ask Olivia Wilde to clear the air about her alleged feud with Florence Pugh. The director's response seemed to echo the way she had addressed the rumors before. By continuing to praise the actor and citing internet hearsay saying, Florence is a force. We are so grateful she is able to make it tonight to the premiere despite being in production. As for all the endless tabloid gossip and noise out there, the internet feeds itself. I don't feel I need to contribute to it. It's sufficiently well-nourished. Olivia Wilde then doubled down on her comments about tabloid gossip surrounding Don't Worry Darling in an interview with Vanity Fair published days after the Venice Film Festival. She emphasized the irony of an alleged feud between two powerful women being the most talked about topic in a film about women's empowerment when they work together.